In California, scorching heat is pushing the state's power grid to its limit and blackouts could be on the way. It comes as more than a dozen large scale wildfires continue to burn across the state and at least four people have been killed. Carter Evans is in Los Angeles with more. With temperatures soaring across California, schools without air conditioning in one northern city are canceling afternoon classes for the rest of the week. The classrooms were saying about 84, 85 degrees. The need to conserve electricity is vital, says California Governor Gavin Newsom. We're heading to the worst part of this heat wave, and the risk for outages is real and it's immediate. At one point Tuesday, the state's power grid was pushed to the limit, with demand soaring to a record of more than 52,000 megawatts. California's maximum is 56,000 megawatts. According to an expert we spoke with, California just doesn't have enough alternative energy like solar or wind resources to cover the increased demand, and the state's drought is impacting the power supply as well. The reservoirs being as low as they are, you know, at historical lows means that you just can't run as much uh, water through the dams as you would like to. With no let up in the heat, wildfires are causing death and destruction across the state with four dead and thousands of structures threatened. Officials confirmed the two people who died near Hammett Monday were attempting to escape the flames. People think they have time to escape, but the way we see fires burn at the critical rates of spread, uh, they don't have time to escape anymore. Riverside County Fire Captain Richard Cordova says wildfires are spreading faster than ever, fueled by heat, low moisture levels, and thousands of acres of dry brush. One of the issues we're also dealing with is the steep terrain and a rocky terrain also where we can't get our bulldozers in. we got to get crews in there with hand crews and do it all by hand. With the heat continuing, the state is facing a double threat, wildfires and the potential for blackouts. Now, there were some power outages last night but they didn't have to implement any so-called rolling blackouts. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.